Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Mega Modded Skyrim. We are continuing off from where we were before, but I will say I made an oopsie. I accidentally didn't save at the end of the very last episode and therefore I had to replay the last little bit of that dungeon to get back to where we are now. My bad, I've got to remember that Skyrim doesn't have auto-saving. Uh, but anyways, we've just brought, spoke too far because again about the next mission and he's giving us a different one than we had at the end of the last episode. Before it was something about some danger in Whiterun and now it's something about um, somewhere else in Falkreath, I think he said. a bunch of lonely bandits, cowards, who will take little effort. We can take Good. care of that. Do not spare them your blade. So now we've got a bit of a different mission, I think. Anyways, we'll save here. Make sure we have that save ready. We can go from there. In fact, let's clean up some of our saves at the moment because we've got a lot here that we don't need. Uh, we don't want to blow our saves too much. Apparently, save bloat can be a bit of a problem in this game. So we're just going to delete a lot of the uh, ones we don't need there. But anyway, so from here, we can uh, take a look at our map and see exactly where we need to go. I think he said near Falkreath. Yeah. So we've actually obviously been to Falkreath before, so we can go there. In fact, what we can do is we can come up to the flight platform and parachute down that way. I think that's what we're going to do. And make our way over towards this mission over here. And it's a pretty nice day for it as well. Let's not burn ourselves this time. Uh, as you can see, one of the things that I did do differently is I have a different shield on at, the, at this time. If I take off my cloak, you'll be able to see it on my back here. Look. I think it's a pretty cool looking shield, to be honest. Uh, I'll leave my cloak off for now, because I think it looks a bit better with this. I don't know if I'm going to stick with light armor at the moment, if I'm going to move over to heavy. I do like light armor more, but um, I haven't decided yet. We also have a, a point here that I haven't spent. Uh, I think we'll go for block right now, because we're using that a good bit. Um, and yeah, we've got to kill the uh, leader of the tower over here. So if we jump off and we try and fly all the way over there. <laughs> I really like this for just getting around. I'm a little bit sorry to see um, Lucian get left behind up there, but he can take care of himself. It's okay. It's okay. But yeah, we'll fly across and see what we can do. We can also drop down a little lower if we want to as well. We don't have to stay super high up. In fact, honestly, the flight platform for any part of this side of the map is going to be great for getting around. We can use that quite a lot. I think that's Falkreath below us there. So maybe it's this tower here? No, I don't think it is. We're still about 500 meters away. We've still got a ways to go yet. In fact, we can take a look at the map now and see how far away we are. Yeah, we're still quite far away. In fact, we might not even make it with this flight, but we'll make it a good portion of the way there. I think we should be okay, though. And we can come in from above and we can maybe climb up one of the hills nearby and uh, rain some arrows from above. We've specced a little bit into archery, so we are able to do a little bit of that. Oh my god, doesn't doesn't this just like... Is, this, is, it, is it even Skyrim anymore? <laughs> Look at the horizon, the Game looks so good. Din Dulod is the reason that the LODs are so good at range. Loads in all the LODs from a distance. Okay, we're just above it now. Let's drop down a little bit lower here. Is, it, is this tower just here? Look. So, in fact, let's um, let's just land here real quick and see what we can see. The way this war is going, there might not be anyone left to steal from soon. I hear people in there, but I don't see anyone at the moment. Okay, let me just quickly climb back up here. I'm going to get a little bit of height and then fly over the top of them onto the uh, mountain nearby. Okay, let's jump onto this mountain here, look. I don't think we can see anyone in there at the moment. We're killing the leader, right? So we'll keep our axe and our shield out. Look at that shield, it's really nice looking. We don't have Lucian with us right now because he's taking a bit of a rest. In fact, maybe if we wait a short time, he'll appear near us. Sometimes that does ha that does work. Now, ain't this oh my god, that, that was not what I meant to do. Not only did I uh, alert them to my presence, but I flew right over the bit I wanted to fly onto. 
Ah, oh, they've, 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 they've sounded the horns now. You won't live to see tomorrow. This is the end for you. Okay, 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 okay. What level are these bandits? We've got a dog. Oh, this is this is bad. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try and uh, quickly retreat here. Alchemist camp, save me, alchemist. Okay. I'm just going to take a quick nap, if you don't mind. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just going to take a quick kiss, and we'll reset in the morning. Ooh, an ominous nightmare. In my dream, I found myself in a dark forest lit by the light of the blood moon. In the distance, I hear the howls of wolves and a faint scream of men. A horned figure beckoned me from a rocky outcrop, a pack of wolves at his feet. I recognize him. It was Hiracene, father of the man-beast. In his hand was a chalice filled with a crimson liquid. He wants me to drink it. Ooh, this is tricky. Because this is, I believe this is turning into a werewolf, but I don't know if we want to do that yet. I mean, we're going down the companion's path. I'm going to flee for now and come back to that, if we can. Ooh, uh, one of the bandit warriors is taking damage. Okay. I feel at peace now. I have gotten myself stuck inside this tent. Tent. Good job we have good old TL TCL. Good old TCL. Let's check the journalist thing here. Some stuff there. Okay. Let's head back over and see what we can do. Well, that was a little tricky. Let's uh, let's get out our burr for now and see if we can do stuff with our burr. I think being in the dark there didn't really help. We can probably climb back up this a little bit. Oh god, that was a good hit. Huh. Think you can kill me? It's time to die, dog. Ooh. Bad miss. I fought worse than you. Ah, oh, missing really, really stupid hits here with my fire arrows. Yeah. You won't oh my lord! Sure, have mercy on you. This is the oh. end for you. Ah, skin you alive. Oh. Okay, we're, we're firing off some quick arrows right now. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Man, the burn arrow feels so good at close range now. You can do so much with it. That's so cool. Uh, right, let's go for health. And then maybe something in archery, maybe? Yeah, we'll just take the extra damage. I don't want to go stealth archer. I want to be, like, aggressive archer. I'm hoping I get some more of those fire arrows at some point. Then things were amazing. But we'll see. Okay, we've cleared the tower. That wasn't too bad, actually. We uh, kind of fumbled the approach a little bit, but overall not too bad. Let's put away our bow and uh, see what we can do here. Make sure we've got our... Uh, yeah, they're ready. There you go. Right, let's try and unlock this. See, look, it has like a correct visual and everything. It's so good. Journal. He's got a bunch of clay on him as well. Let's let's check that journal and see if it has anything of any importance. They've taken everything. All my life was in the shop workshop now. They've I don't know what that says. It into the ground. I have nothing. My life's work gone to dust and for what? What in dangerous name did they want? All I'm left with is this rusty hatchet. It feels as though my father speaks through its grip as I hold it in my hand. 
I hold harder. Yes, I can hear him. Vengeance, my son. Intriguing. So where is this axe that he spoke of, then? I'm guessing one of those guys is probably holding on to it. Let's see if we can find it among the, uh... Among the chests and things in this tower, and then we'll go and search the bodies and see if we can find it over there. I'm, I'm imagining one of these guys has it somewhere about, but... I'm not exactly sure where that would be. A lot of food and stuff here. There's another chest here. Money's going pretty well at the minute. We've got a tanning rack there. Iron sword, iron warhammer. We're not really into a uh, thingy too much. Good bit of lockpicking skill there. Lovely. Oh, I've fallen. No. It's okay, we can get around. We've got some arrows there, but no, no axe so far. Right, just safe way down. Right, let's try and loot these guys wherever they are. I didn't see many of them to start with, so I'm not exactly sure whether where, where we killed them all. In fact, I have almost no idea where I killed them. I looted like one of them, but there was multiple of them. There's a bandit leader somewhere. Well, here's one. A Whisperer. Crude Iron Axe. It might be that Crude Iron Axe, but I doubt it. Berserker here. There was one more. There was a big guy somewhere. I don't know where he's gone. Hmm. I don't know where he's gone. I'm taking some of these steel arrows, because why not? I think we're going to head on back now. I don't see anything else here that we can find. I'd be a rubbish bandit. Much too polite. Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> the fact that you said the word rubbish rather than anything else speaks volumes. What we got going on here? We can turn off our, our lantern right now as well. We don't need that on right now. What's this book here? Apparently, I can't pick it up. Got some name roots here. I'll take them. Normally, they make noise, but there must be a mod in here to stop that. A bunch of mud crabs here as well. I love doing a power attack on them and watching them just destroy. I'm sorry, mud crabs. You're not innocent in this war. Although they're too small for me to hit. Oh my god! Why do you have fire arrows, my guy? <laughs> what did I tell you against using fire? What did I tell you? Oh, there's a Spriggan down there. I don't know how uh, difficult Spriggans are in this mod, so... Let's give it a go and see what happens. What level is the Spriggan? Oh, there's a... A carriage down here? Only, only level 8. We might be able to do it. Let's uh, switch to our bow first. You stay right there as I charge up my bow. Boom. Well, that was... That was a good hit. I think we got it. Yes, okay. Fire versus wood. Pretty strong. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. The double arrow. I love this right-click ability with the bow. It's so cool. It's it's pretty strong, mind you, but oh, I like it. Right, what's going on in here then? Because clearly someone someone did something to you, good sir. The alchemist here. Basket backpack flower. I like that. I'll take that. I might, I might give that to our boy, you know. That'd be pretty funny. Oh, look at that one. It's toasty. And we've got like a face in the in the water here. This area is pretty cool. Let's take another name route here. My my good friend, where art thou? Oh, we got another enemy about apparently. We got a, oh, it's, a, it's only a deer. 
Oh, there's a hunter over there. I really like that. I am going to need more arrows, though. We've got a hunter's camp here. Ow, ow, ow. There's traps here, apparently. Yes. All right. One piece and wish to speak. Do you live in no. these woods? I didn't intend to, anyway. Where do you normally live? Solitude. Maybe you can tell me what an oblivion a winking skeever is. <laughs> Solitude's really? a fine city. What about it do you like? I am making this up because I've not been there before. The public executions. Are you sure you aren't thinking of Helga? <laughs> executions are all that city has. Or all it used to have. Do you have trouble navigating the forest? My mother taught me the ways of the wilderness. But I never imagined it would be so difficult in practice. The moss grows on all sides of the tree. The stars are too numerous to count. The wind blows in all directions. If not for the turn of the moons, I'd, I'd have no sense of where I am. Intriguing. You're from Forest Solitude, what brought you to Falkreath? That's a long story. I came to Falkreath on a rumour, and now... Now... I'm actually lost. In more ways than one. Did you get many travellers in these None parts? bothered to stop. Although, there was that Nord from Riften who spent the night. Ooh. Indeed spent the night, no, interesting. No, nothing like that. He was a wanderer that didn't know heads from tails. I think his name was... Ha Hagrani? Or something close to that. Did the Nord have any good stories he to did. tell? did. But I'm warning you, you won't like how I tell it. <laughs> I'm sure okay, you tell okay, it just fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. The tale I remember best was about his adventure in the Reach. One night it was very dark and cold and he was frightened. Then, when he felt all was lost, a voice shouted out, The blood's all below your waist! No. Wait. That part comes later? If his bones, I really messed it up, didn't I? I don't know, did you? <laughs> I've heard Somehow worse. Somehow I doubt that. But, thanks. What do you mean you're I'd lost in more ways than one? It's somewhat private, and besides, I'm not much for words. I've certainly established that. I met house plants that were more forthcoming than you. Unless you tell me, I can't help you, but you have to provide more details. I, I'm sorry. It's been so long and I've almost lost all hope. Tell me what's bothering it you. It was many months ago, during the burning of King Olaf. A lot of travellers came to the Skeever after the festival. I overheard three strangers talking. Three men from three separate holds. All had passed through this forest. All with a similar story. Mother always said, Once is a fluke, twice is a coincidence. Three times meant a rumour was worth your ear. And what was that rumour? One of the men said he saw a werewolf. Oh lord. Another <laughs> claimed it was a slowed. It's all sorts the of werewolf business right now. They didn't agree on much, but whatever it was, it used to be a woman. A wood elf. Like me. Lisette said it was the ale talking. She could always see through men's lies, so maybe she was right. But if there's a chance, I won't leave. I can't. The Wood Elf, do you know her by any chance? She's my mother. Ah, oh, okay, okay. This makes more sense now. The transformation the Travellers described, what is it? My mother told me that Bosma... We have the power to transform... Into... Beasts that are not of this world. If... There's a chance that this thing was, is my mother. Maybe I can help her, reach her somehow. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Um, how to long has she been gone? I've lost track of the days. And what makes you think she's here? She often came to this forest. She loved how green the pines were, 
how lush the grass was. I mean, it is pretty how, lush. if you listen closely to the chorus of insects, you could almost make out the words. And how the forest here couldn't be more different, yet somehow reminded her so much of Vale and Wood. I'm sorry to hear, I'll do my best to look Thank out for you. her. Tell me about her. She was a fiery woman. <laughs> Nothing like me. Yet she could be graceful when she wanted to. And kind when I needed her to. She loved to tell me stories about Valenwood. About cities that walked. And the creatures that rode them. She said there were beetles the size of horse carts. And plants so colourful they put the aurora to shame. Yorick doesn't have much of a sense of humour. And what about your father? I never knew him. Sometimes, I think Mother chose solitude because it would be the last place he'd look for us. Okay, so, not particularly a quest, but we, we've we been given the opportunity to help her find her transformed mother into a beast of some description. Although we're not exactly sure what. That that leaves a lot to a lot that could be the case here. I'm not gonna go back yet, I'm gonna search the surrounding areas and see what I can find. I mean first of all, let's let's wait an hour and see if there you are. Our friend arrives. Uh, can I train you yet? Sorry, I keep meaning to give you this. Ah, here we go. Since see, oh. like I said. Handy, unfortunately right? I'd uh, not saved before. Thank you. I mean, hopefully we won't have to use it very often. I'll stick to you like a, like a, oh, I don't know, something sticky. But what was this here? Yeah. This is a dragon burial ground. That's what I'll do. Yes, it is. Good to see. Right, what we got going on around here? That's a saber cat right there. Oh, there's a mountain lion. Nice, we got him. Mountain lion, not what I expected. Whoa, what is that? What on earth are those things? Some sort of trolls? Who's seen me? Oh, there's a deer over there, okay. I wonder what had spotted me there. Okay, so there's some, there's some creatures around here that are a little less savoury. Let's check what's going on over here first. Yeah, I don't really know what we're going to commit to in terms of our weaponry, but I'm liking bows right now. Okay, we got a lot and a lot of stuff over here. Oh, Lord. This is going to be rough. Ah, oh, this is going to be very rough. Okay, let's, uh, let's quickly untag. And get our... Okay, a lot easier to kill those with that. And then you, I can still use my bow and arrow You're for. Pathetic. I love that double shot. Okay. Ah, a little help over here. Oh, we got to really charge our bow, otherwise it doesn't go anywhere. Bad. There we go. My God, I like your cloak better than my other one. Um, yeah, leave that there for now. Okay, not too bad on those guys. Ooh, what the hell? Sacrificial altar. Got some poisons. This book, an assassin's dagger. Conjuration increased as well. We'll use the altar. I don't know about that. Ah, okay, we can't use it anyways. I was curious to see what that would do. We got a thingy over there. What else did we pick up from that? What was the assassin's dagger like? 17 damage versus what we're doing with this? 15. Okay, this is better than what we're using right now. So let's... um. Let's quickly go and do, I think it's this, K, okay. manage Q's, right hand, we want to remove that, and then we want to 
exit and we want to go and add this bad boy. Add to queue. This will be quite different. Okay, so that's more of a plunging motion. Right, go neutral first. Go neutral slashing. This is plunging. That's kind of a mix between the two. And this is full on slashing. I think I want to go for the default to be fair. I think that's that's the best looking right there. It's fairly speedy. Good damage. Okay, I'm guessing this is the shack where that person lived. One second. Okay, we've got a strong box here that requires a key that we don't currently have. And I'm not entirely sure where the key would be. I would have hoped it would have been on that woman that we just killed, but... That doesn't seem to be the case, so maybe someone else is around here. I mean, I'll check the woman again just to make sure. And I'm fairly sure she didn't have anything on her, unless it was this woman. No, she doesn't have a key on her. Where was the lady I killed? No, no key. Okay. So we're not getting into that anytime soon. Unless... We find some other people that live around here, but I'm not going to bank on that right now. Oh, we got uh, some sort of stronghold over there. I can hear some smithing going on, actually. It could be an orc stronghold, normally then around the edges of the map. It could be a bandit stronghold as well. I guess we'll go and find out. Again, do a save. Let's have a little look-see. It looks to be an orc stronghold. Oh, okay. I thought they might be willing- oh god. Uh, Lucian. Lucian. L Lucian. We gotta- we gotta skedaddle. Oh, real goddamn quick. Lucian, I will meet you far away from this place. <laughs> oh lord. Do you know what? I'm gonna run the opposite direction we've been that way before. Oh wait, there's a- there's one of these things in here. I'm gonna be sneaky. Okay, I was going to try to be sneaky. Come on. It might not work. Just let me do my animation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you stand there while I do my little animation. Thank you. Okay. Lucian, I'll uh, I'll meet you later. <laughs> we uh, we're sprinting away right now. Okay, it looks like we got away. God damn. Kind of scary. Okay, Lucian's made it to us good. Oh my. Hello? Help. Hey. Oh. Okay. You're mine. Victory is yours. I submit. Oh, the fucking trolls are still here. I gotta fight a bandit ghost, goddammit. He's no longer a ghost anymore. Okay. We gotta keep running. Put that away so I can sprint at full speed here. No, you will not. Someone's gonna get hurt. You. Just keep going. I have offended the orcs to a great degree. And they are not happy about my presence around their home. We're gonna uh, we're gonna climb up this and see where it takes us. Hopefully they can't climb as well as we can. A shrine here. Do you know what we haven't done in a little while, or slash ever? We haven't prayed. 
If we come over to, uh, I, I can't remember the button for it now. There is a button. Is it seven? Yeah, there you go. Seven. Um, we don't have prey on there. We need to add prey to that, so that wheel somehow. I can't remember how to do that, I'll be honest. Um, magic. Prey. It says we're out of combat. Are we technically out of combat now? To increase our favor. There you go. We should do that more often. We should also check out other powers, because we have quite a lot here. Um... Sense direction is kind of useful. Track. We'll leave that for now, though. Right, Lucy and I don't quite know where you are. Uh, there's some fire down there. I think that's fire. I think we've been there before, though. Right, just a random shrine. Oh, we've got something else up here as well. That's what I love about Skyrim. There's just so much, like, on the horizon to do and to see. There's always places to go. And we can fly on over and then potentially climb the side of this cliff. There you go. Ignore that little hole in the land there. That's nothing to be of our concern. Knife point ridge. Oh god, is this another bandit camp? <laughs> it fucking is. Damn it, there's so many. We aren't we aren't strong enough to take on huge bandit camps yet. We will most certainly die. Alright, let's fly away. Who, who's this? You okay, guy? Give him a potion. Thank Are you, you okay? Here, this is for you. Need something? Maybe you can help me. What's you need? All in this note. Interesting. Just a little side quest there. The smithing order. Oh shit! I did not see those two here. I will be uh, making my way around those without bothering them. I hope. Lucian, you're uh, you seem to be gone once again. Can we uh, catch up with you, Lucian? Where art thou? Ah, here we go. Lucian, stay away from those people. Some wolves here. Hello, good sir. Looks like you're not wanting to fight. You got guts, stranger. Two feral wolves. But you didn't flinch. Train my arrows on most. Say... That's close enough. They look raw, as if I didn't just save their life. You, though, the wolves liked. More fear. Got curious. Wanted to see how far you'd make it. Looks like I slighted you. Or misread them. Fools often do underestimate me. Animals lovely, especially ones that crawl on all fours. Are these wolves your Aren't pets? my wolves. Can't own a wild beast. Free to roam, free to hunt. Free to be hunted. Besides, no vengeance to spare. All for one orc, and one orc alone. So who is it you're hunting? My query is Lagdu. You find her, you tell me, she dies. Some Why are you hunting her? work in packs, but only two I consider kin. She was one of them. She killed the other, okay. So you're avenging one of the friends killed by another. Yeah. Tracked her down to Knife Point Can't Ridge. Track her. Does more than double back. Covers her prints like it was snow and dirt. So I go from camp to camp. Maybe follow an adventurer. Maybe get lucky. Keep a hundred arrows in my quiver. Ninety-nine are orc. Last one is iron and blood. That's the arrow that'll kill Lagdu. Interesting. Must be a reason why Lagdu killed your friend. How long have you lived in this forest? 
I can get him to follow me. That's kind of cool. I mean, we've already got a follower, but I respect it. Maybe. No good one, though. Severus was plain. Didn't keep secrets. Like you know where you stood. Never told you how to stand. Why'd you do it? Not a riddle I care to solve. Arrow holds the only answer I need. Fair enough. And if these wolves are wild, why didn't Don't they attack? Know. Speak up, my friend. <laughs> Brevity may be the essence of wit, but obviously not in your case. But well, I appreciate your honesty. Likewise. How long have you lived All here, my then? Life. What's it to you? Thought you give me some tips on hunting game? Ooh. Yeah, advice is gonna be easy. Meet. Lay it on the ground. Skin one side. Roll it over. But keep the meat off the dirt. Stretch out the skin. Use it as a cloth. And try not to make too many cuts. And don't want to butcher the pelt. And try to keep the hairs off the meat. Sucks up the moisture. Interesting. All right. What a what a nice well met fella. Got a nice little place here. I'm gonna take some of your gold though, if you don't mind. <laughs> I always find that odd when like Enemies and stuff that are like are people that are in areas that aren't like specifically in a city will just kind of let you steal from them. And it's like, I'm not gonna not steal from you. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna not steal from you. Oh, wild wolf. Dead wolf. Lucian, I get that you're friends with the wolf people, but we need to go. Come along now. What, what? Lucian. Why are you just standing there? Hello there. Hello indeed. Let's, let's Let go. Let me know if you need anything else. Yes, yes. Come on. Oh, it's dithering. Right, what we got going on up here? I'm liking exploring the outskirts like this. It's just fun to, like, have a look around and see what there is. Pick up some random quests. Fight some random people. You are weak. Yeah, that didn't work out too well for you, did it? He's got a satchel we could po probably equip. Um, where's the satchel she just gave us? Lucian? Lucian? Where are you? There you are. I would like you Lucian to look Flavius, a little bit silly. Oh, please, give me all the good stuff. Right. I'm going to take this away from you, this away from you, and this away from you. And you can have... Um, first of all, you can have this dagger. Oh, I can't give you that, apparently. Okay, that's fine. You can have this. And you can definitely have the flower basket, yes. You can have them as well. You can have a hide shield if you wanted to, why not? And you can have a silver hand amulet. I've got twelve. <laughs> there you go. Yes! What's next? <laughs> Lucian and his little flower basket. I love it. Oh, that's perfect. Let's uh let's put our lantern on because it's getting a little bit dark. We can put our, uh, our dagger away now. We are probably going to be changing weapons that we use pretty often. Always going to be new stuff available. And also, I just like to see the new animations and stuff for different weapons. What's going on up here, then? Looks pretty... Potentially deadly up here. There's a lot of dead trees and burns and such. There's a witch up here. Okay, she's done a little fall. We can we can deal with the witch. Is this over? You got her. That we did, Lucian. That we did. Okay, so we can come in here if we want, but I'm gonna say that's not a great idea right now. Yeah, let's, let's not clear a cave right now. I think that's a potentially bad idea. Let's instead 
fly around this rock and back to where we started. And carry on down this way, I think. Come on, Lucian, you can make it. I trust you to do it. I like the fact that he sings little songs and stuff. Got another camp here by the looks of it. Oh no, this isn't a camp. Maybe a mine? Or a tower? Doesn't doesn't look like a big tower. Ah, requires a key, okay. Oh, I see. More bandits. Let's try and take this bandit camp on. It looks like there's not as many enemies Over in here. here. I love how quite engaging the combat is now, especially once we get to higher levels, the enemies are a bit tougher. Like, at the minute, we can realistically just kind of hack and slash and get away with it. But later on, it's going to get to the point where we really have to use our dodges and stuff. There he is, look. He's unarmed. Oh, no, there he goes. He's just took out his hammer. He was just running with his fists out. Anyone else around? No. It's two on one, my guy. Ah, God, I'm gonna fall. Shit. I'll skin you alive. I'm climbing back up. This didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Nope, it didn't. Shit. There he is, okay. Oof, that was a good block. If you time your blocks really well, you can get like a time block and stagger them. I like that move. I'll Which, uh... show you a real fight. The dagger attacks pretty quick as well, I like that. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh my god, I ripped his guts out. Holy shit. I didn't think you could do that. That's definitely new to this mod. Wow, that's cool. Okay, well, Lucian, I think we've cleared out most of this uh, this camp here. Oop, I've missed my, uh, my jump there. Can I climb back up this? There you go. Yes, I can. Okay, there's probably more people around here in the dark. I'm a little wary of what's going on here. Ooh, iron gauntlet, that's a big ass sword. Big old steel sword, steel great sword. Chest here, we'll, we'll try and lock that, give it a go. Nice and easy. Lovely. Don't think we need a steel helmet right now. Let's quickly just check down here and see if there's anything else of note. Persians about. Another chest here. This is Apprentice, this one. Might have a little bit more on it. I don't actually know if the actual difficulty of the lock denotes how much loot is in it or if it is just kind of like random. Yeah, because th this seems like a worse chest than the one before, and the one before was novice, so... Two letters there. Okay, let's uh, let's head inside. We'll see what we can get done inside. Some stone quarry there. Into the mine. Maybe we'll get a key for that tower that we saw. Okay, there is a lot more enemies in here. Okay, um, yeah, I'll be taking my leave. <laughs> we are not ready for this. The thing is, are they going to follow me out? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Okay, it looks like we're alright. There does seem to be an enemy... Way over there, though. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. 
Right. Grab this. Oh, look at Lucian's clothes all like glistening in the rain. Beautiful stuff. Okay, let's um let's go back and hand in our quest. Did that give us a level up? Yes, it did. Nice one. Go with health again, I think. And then now I'm a little dubious on what to take next. You take 10% less damage um with while full health. Kind of interesting. One arm damage isn't really too good for us. Uh, let's let's take the next armor thing. There you go. Slightly more health for us. What is that over there? That's a big old castle right there. Oh, there's like some ruins down here as well. Oh, this is awesome. Whoa, do you see that lightning? That was so fucking cool. God damn, this this this, this modded playthrough is just awesome. Got some enemies and stuff down there. Another one of those sky shards over there. Don't think we'll be able to make it to it though. Let's um Let's go back to hand in our quest. And we'll go from there. This is a reasonably good stopping point for the episode we hand once we've handed this in. We can also go to sleep as well as to not wake people up and assign our skills and stuff. Oh, he's already awake, okay. Skewer says that I have the strength of Isgrimor, and my brother has his smarts. Fair enough, but I've taken care and of that problem. I've already received word that the client is satisfied. You have done well for yourself, and for the companions. E, 100 septums, thank you. Mm-hmm. You know You've what? Returned. I'll Skewer grab another. was looking for you before. Talk to him before doing anything else. Cool. Alright, let's get some shut eye first. It's like four hours, wake up in the morning. We've got 81. How come we've got so many points to use? I'm confused by how this is working. <laughs> we seem to have so many points. Unless we get skill points for doing other stuff. And it's not based on leveling. It's based on how much we did to earn those skill points. We did do a lot of combat there. Anyways, block. Let's get that up to 25. Archer up to 25 as well. One handed up to 25. These skills. Light armor up to 25. Speech up to 20. And then. Hmm. Let's bonk him into destruction there. We'll use destruction at some point. It's an interesting way of doing things. I don't I, I don't particularly know how I feel about it so far. It seems decent. Or it's just it's, it's I'm slightly confused by it at the moment. It seems that we get a lot of points every time we go to sleep. Like we're it seems like we're gonna get to a hundred on our skills very easily, but I can't imagine that'll be the case. Ah, there you are. You want to see me? Yes. I have something a little different planned this time. But it's not for everyone to hear. Meet me in the Underforge tonight. We will speak more. I forget that you've never seen it. Beneath the Skyforge, where Yorland works, the door is hidden. But I will show you the way. I can't care. All Intriguing. Right. right, let's save off there, and I think we'll leave off the episode here. Feeling pretty good about how, where we are so far. I think we're, we're in a good spot. Yeah, I'm gonna look into this um this experience mod and see what I can figure out about it. But either way, Ooh, hope you guys did enjoy. Secret meeting in the middle of the night. How Indeed. thrilling! I don't know if you're invited, good sir. Anyways, 
Really, really cool episode. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.